Hi folks, our Luna has developed a fault. So we're going to show you what that fault is and then later we'll be taking her apart to have a look. Uh, there it is. Can you tell which side it's in, Paul? You're not feeling very well, Luna. It's the right the side. leg. Mm. She's got flight goggles on. Yeah, it's in this side. Uh, I thought it was. So Luna isn't even switched on now, but you can duplicate the sound by mm. just turning it manually. Mm. Mm. And it's only one way as well. Right. Does that make it any clearer? I think it'll be more obvious when we open her up what the problem is. It will allow me to turn it mm -hmm. as long as I don't apply too much torque. When you apply too much torque, it's slipping. Right, so that's why it's intermittent, because it's only yeah. when she's... Um, moving moving rapidly. Yeah. Trying to twist her body rapidly. Yeah. So, Paul, you've been looking at some videos, haven't you? Yeah, uh, I was thinking of uh, taking... Well, we are. We're going to take Luna apart, and I thought you might gain access here. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I was wrong when I looked at a few videos. Uh, these panels at the side come off, and which makes sense because it's this uh, right Luna's right leg that we want to get in and see what's going on here. So we need to take these these side panels off Luna's right leg to see what's going on with the uh, the gear in in here. It sounds like to me as though one gear is riding over another when you turn it one direction. So it sounds like something's come loose to me. Sure if that's breaking off something. Um, I think that I'm not sure if it's part of the problem. We'll put it to one side. See the motor that drives this silver thing here. It's the motor that drives this with this little cog, this large cog. It makes Luna rotate on a. You can see it riding over, and you can hear that noise. Right. Let's just take this metal piece off here so we can see more clearly. All these screws I'm taking out are the same size, which is good. Because that means they'll go back in uh, any order. steel but it's not as plastic as well. We're going to pull this connector out here. Okay so this piece of plastic, this piece of plastic that's um, came out mm -hmm. is obviously the same clear colour as this piece and I can see where it's come from. This clear piece of plastic has come from round here. Oh yeah I can see now yeah. Which means that it's, it's allowing, broken. yeah, it's allowing this um, this gear, mm -hmm. this small gear, to ride up mm -hmm. uh, when it's been turned one way. I see. So, yeah, you, you can see the uh, motor moving when it shouldn't move. It's not being held. For, can you see that? Mm. 
presumably it works one way. Well, it's not working that. It works this way, but it's not working this way. It's just mm -hmm. riding over because it's broken off one side. Yes. So it looks like either I make something new for that or we're going to have to um, get a new part. Right. Which is, looks like this clear plastic mm. part. So I think we'll take it apart further. Okay. So that screw I've just taken out there oh. is that actually smaller diameter than the rest. Right, so it wants to put them separate, doesn't it? This is some sort of position sensor. It's a potentiometer. So that's a feedback position sensor. And these screws that I'm taking out now are most definitely different than the early ones I took out. So these four black screws keep down this clear plastic component, which is um, holding the motor gearbox in place. Is that, is that the one that's broken, the plastic component that that's holding down? Yeah. So when I release these four screws, the motor's going to come out, and I, I believe that clear plastic uh, bracket stroke clamping ring, which holds the motor down, will come out as well. And we can have a closer look at how it's failed. So that goes through the centre, just for reference when I'm uh, reassembling this. This is the uh, wire that goes to the wheel. I want to get this motor with its gearbox and gear, plastic gear here, off this clear plastic ring stroke bracket. I think we'll release this potentiometer off here. So we can get the wiring out of the way. These are different size screws again. Oh, those are very tiny ones. Mm. Quite a bit of breakage and cracking around here. It's obviously weak. Under under designed, under engineered this part. See that? Oh, I can. So the only thing we've got here. So I can these two black wires here mm -hmm. go to that plate. Yes. They both go to the same plate, so I can simply snip those off. I'm just right. gonna I'm just gonna break them off with the solder joint. Okay. So now we can take everything off. So nice little motor with uh, a metal gearbox and then uh, terminating in a, in a plastic driving gear. So there's nothing wrong with the motor and the gearbox. Okay. Yeah, it's just that plastic part that goes around it that's shattered. Yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take that nut off as you, because um, here you can see there and there mm -hmm. are two screw holes mm -hmm. which allow the motor to be fixed to that. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to take this off here so you can see clearer. Okay, so we're going to take off this main plastic gear now. Take that nut off. And those two screws there and there mm -hmm. were to hold that motor in that plastic bracket. Right. And you can see the brackets failed. Um, it's cracked there. Mm -hmm. where the screw hole is where it's very thin the plastic and mm -hmm. it's cracked here mm -hmm. so obviously this part is under engineered mm. see that's coming off already mm. so either we make something like that I, 
made of a stronger material or we try and patch this up and put it back together but we could see how much it costs for a new kit because the I think um, is it Key Tech? Mm -hmm. I think Key Tech. Uh, I think this happened to a lot of lunars, didn't it? Early ones. Early ones, yeah. And ours was an early lunar because it was off Kickstarter, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So I think Key Tech have done an, an upgraded part since uh, since then. So we'll see if we can get an upgraded part and how much it is. Mm -hmm. If you can't or if it's too expensive, we'll try patching this up. Apologies for the background noise. Paul's got a 3D printer on. He's printing me a Mickey Mouse pencil topper. Oh yeah. So Paul, you contacted Kei, haven't you? Yeah, I sent them sent them an email today, Saturday, and they responded within about three hours. It was just a standard response. They've asked what the serial number is of our Luna and what platform we bought it on. And once we supply them with those two bits of information and some pictures as to what the problem is here, hopefully uh, they'll send us a new bracket. And once we receive a new bracket, or if we decide to just patch it up ourselves, we'll do an updated video and share it with you folks. Yeah.